This is probably my favorite 3D printed project to date. This thing is absolutely incredible. So some of you might know I'm actually a huge Batman fan. I actually worked for DC Comics about 15 plus years ago. Not for as long as I would like to have, but it was really an amazing experience. All that said, I found the most amazing file over on my mini factory, thanks to Carmelo Nazario. He has created the most epic Batman cowl that you can 3D print that I've ever found. So make sure to check it out. I've got a link down below to where you can find that file. Let's check it out right now. Right, part one, the front of the mask is now done. Really nice and clean looking. I'm very happy with how this turned out. I'm gonna get off the print bed and remove the supports and see how it fits. All right, so I'm down here in my workshop, and what I'm gonna do next is start prepping the helmets or the cowl here. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing some basic sanding here, and then I'm gonna start gluing together the pieces. The general idea that I'm gonna do is the back uh, of the helmet here. So I've cut it into three pieces. What I'm gonna end up doing is gluing completely and sealing the face and the ear portion here. And then the back portion, which is this smaller piece here, I'm gonna end up creating uh, some way to magnetically attach these. This way, I can very easily pop the helmet on and off. Uh, the opening is just a little bit small for my head. I've got a big melon here uh, for me to squeeze in, but, but if I magnetically attach it, then I can easily take it on, take it off. All right, get some glue, and I'm gonna start gluing these pieces together. The seams aren't going to perfectly line up, unfortunately, uh, but it'll get me pretty damn close, and then I can fill it and sand it so that it's nice and smooth. All right, so here's the plan. What I'm gonna do is take my drill here. I've got a half inch bit. Uh, half inch, no, sorry, it's a quarter inch bit. And what I'm gonna use is these little tiny magnets that I have. Uh, by the way, every time I go to Michael's or Harbor Freight, I'm always picking up something because I know I'm gonna use it for a project. I think I bought these maybe three years ago, two years ago, uh, and dug them up for this. I knew I had some small magnets somewhere. So what I'm gonna do is make some more of these pre-drilled holes here within the helmet so that I can, on both sides here, so that I can essentially snap these two pieces together for me to be able to easily take them on and off for the helmet. So let's give it a go. I might only need two of these. Jeez, they're really strong. All right, so I've got my glue gun all set and ready. I'm gonna fill these holes and put the magnets in. By the way, if you don't own a glue gun and you're doing cosplay and 3D printing and anything like that, you're not doing it right. It's all about the glue gun, baby. All right, so here it is. I have a three-piece Batman cowl that I now have all completely connected together. The first half and the second half, the middle with the ears, I've glued together. There's still a seam here, and you can still see through it. Uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can get that a little bit tighter with some super glue. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is basically just fill it with auto body filler with Bondo or something along the lines, maybe even, uh, epoxy sculpt here that I have. 
uh, is really good and uh, isn't as fumey as Bondo. Uh, and then the back piece with is uh, that I'm able to now remove is all just magnetized on. I have three magnets that I put on here, uh, drilled some holes, super glued them in place or hot glued them in place, and now they basically just snap into place. So I should be able to put this on. And done. <laughs> it's actually the first time I've snapped that on and it's a really good fit. It's nice and tight here. It's tight in the back. I can move my head all around thanks to the design. This is really, really sweet. So I might end up doing is putting some sort of a latch on here. So it basically would lift up and stay up and then snap back down. But for now, this will do just fine so that I can continue to finish the piece. The detail on this is absolutely wonderful. I mean, look at that. Oh God, that's beautiful. This is such an awesome, awesome file. I'm Batman. All right, thanks again to Carmelo Nazario for creating this file and sharing it with everybody on My Mini Factory. Again, if you're interested in printing your own, head on over to My Mini Factory and download your file so that you can start 3D printing it today. I printed all of this on my BQ Wit box using BQ White PLA, except for the very back, which I ran out of white PLA and ended up going with some yellow PLA. Uh, and again, over the next few weeks, I will be finishing up this project. I'll be applying some XTC 3D from Smooth On onto this, as well as filling it with some Bondo spot putty or just Bondo, uh, maybe something else, epoxy sculpt to fill the gaps here. All right, thanks again for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. It really does help out. Also, leave me some feedback down below, and if you're not already, make sure to subscribe. Also, I've got links down below to the file, so if you want to 3D print your own Batman cowl, thanks to Carmelo Nazario, make sure to go over to mini, my mini factory and hit those files up. I've also got a link down below to Carmelo's Twitter account. He regularly posts updates to his designs that he's working on, and right now he's working on a Batman black mask file, and it is really incredible. Cannot wait to print that one myself. So again, hey, thanks again, you guys, and I'm Batman. Hey, what's going on guys? Uncle Jesse here, and I just wanted to share with you my enormous 3D printed Quantum Break sign. So a few weeks ago, I was at the Quantum Break release in New York City, and they had this massive, massive sign, and I thought, hmm, I bet I could make something like that. And so I went off and 3D printed my own huge, huge sign here that I was going to put up in my game room, but I overestimated...